I'm going to show you auto takeoff with a uh, plane that has a landing gear. So you just take off from the ground. And uh, this is the switch. So give me a warning. And currently, its uh, motor is disarmed. That's why when I press takeoff, it won't work. But after I disarm the motor, if I press takeoff, it will just go off by itself. But the issue is uh, you won't need to shake the plane. It will just go off. Hence, I added this warning here. It's a bit dangerous. And uh, make sure that once it has taken off, you need to push out your throttle. Otherwise, once you disable take off, you're on zero throttle. So I'm going to demonstrate now. I'm going to disarm the motor. Arm my motor as well with the switch here. And then, so throttle works. Flight check. Put it on uh, stabilize mode. And as soon as I press this take off button, then it will take off. And the view was so nice. See this? Yeah! So give it a throttle, disable, take off, switch, and there you go. So nice. Man, just gracefully take off from the ground. Way better than what I can do. This is a well written algorithm of uh, autopilot control. So I'm gonna land and uh, play with the takeoff again that's the uh, easy sky no e sky eagle so you see i need a lot of throttle and uh, sound is loud as well a bit too high That was rough. Okay, point it to the wind. Clear ahead. Auto take off again. Woo! Wow, very graceful. Yeah, remember to give you a throttle before you disable the auto take off. Hi. So let's just land and uh, end the video. Oh shit, ooh. Okay, see, okay. Evaded all the shit. Nice. So that's how we do it. So, Edward, like and subscribe if you learned something today. So, I'm gonna show you how to set this up. This is my eSky Eagle for the autopilot version. So, we're gonna go to our mixers here and in this case I use channel 8 and uh, so you edit you open a new profile for example edit then uh, you press on this and then you flip your switch so that so that channel 8 now becomes a channel that is uh, controlled by the switch with a 3 position switch or it can be a 2 position switch but in this case my 2 position switch is uh, used for flight mode change and also disarm uh, my motor manually. All the other settings here remain unchanged unless if you want to add a delay for example it triggers only 5 seconds later after you press the takeoff after you trigger the takeoff button so in this case we put it to 5 seconds and uh, with this switch uh, also disarm so i put it to take off it will tell me warn me of a takeoff mode and then we'll wait for about five seconds so now it goes to full 100 uh, value so that's where it triggers the takeoff so now we're gonna go back there and show you other setting uh, for safety reason so you can go to the channel 8 and then uh, you press insert after which will create this source you set it to max and then wait set it negative 100 and then the multiplex becomes uh, replaced. So what this does is, so if your manual arm and disarm switch is not activated, well, which is uh, positioned away from us, then the takeoff will not happen. But it will still tell you uh, takeoff. So let me demonstrate. Now I have my motor manually disarm, and then I push it to takeoff. You say takeoff, but then five seconds later, this will not go to. Uh, takeoff mode you will not output a value for it to trigger uh, takeoff so at the same time this switch disarm my throttle as well so as you can see we're over five seconds and then my takeoff my channel 8 doesn't uh, trigger the takeoff and uh, 
other thing you can do is go to special function and then uh, this one okay let's say you so let's say you press on this and then uh, you apply the position that you want this to be take off which is SA down and then here you choose play track and then choose take off and also additional thing that I did is uh, is adding a warning which is called Vario but both the in both the in both my plane model it works in the beginning and later on it does, doesn't work it, it doesn't give me warning anymore which is very very helpful it will give like a, like a warning dee, 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 dee kind of sound but now it doesn't work if I try so it doesn't work but you can uh, make this to become haptic haptic works every time and uh, make it three times so let's try again so it will shake so better than nothing because in the case of this type of takeoff as soon as your switch is triggered your motor will spin up instantly you do not need to shake the plane so there's some risk in it when you have this uh, mode turned on because there's no check the system doesn't do any check and you just go to take off straight away so it's better to create this uh, warning and uh, also a uh, fail safe uh, kind of switch to disallow you to have it on so in this case i have my takeoff mode turned on okay in this position but it's still disarm but when i arm the motor then we'll go to takeoff mode in the case of a flight control program you just connect to your mission planner and go to your user params and then channel it we have set to mode takeoff right mode takeoff so don't change anything else let's double check again and uh, the default uh, takeoff angle i think is 25 it is 30 or 45 and the default the uh, height to achieve is 30 meter so all this default value I think is fine and normal. So that's how you do it. If you find this video helpful, it helps you set up the takeoff mode easily compared to before where you have to set up the uh, auto mode and uh, configure the takeoff angle, the height and everything, which just too many things to remember, even though it's just one mode and this makes it way easier. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next video. Bye.